Back everybody, imagine an all-you-can-eat and drink event for a good cause. Sounds great, right? Well, this Saturday, Make-A-Wish Hawaii is having their third annual Waffles for Wishes brunch event, and you're invited. Here with all of the information, Sianna Hunt, President and CEO of Make-A-Wish Hawaii. Also joining us, Ryan Kalei Suji, who is on their Young Leaders Board, and Natalie Sooner, owner, a suitor, owner of Kai Coffee. Hello, thank you so much Hi, for joining good us. Good morning. Uh, Tiana, why don't we start with you? Waffles for Wishes, what does that mean? So Waffles for Wishes is the brainchild of our Young Professionals uh, Board, and they wanted to have a fundraiser that was unique and, and really engaged a fun uh, environment, and so it's a boozy brunch with a mission. Okay, that sounds fantastic. Boozy brunch with a mission. Yeah. I like that. You mentioned the uh, Young Leaders Board. Ryan, you are on that board. I am. Tell us about your role and, and what you guys do as a, as a board together. Well, you know, I think one of the things that we try to promote is uh, just that act of philanthropy amongst young professionals in our community. And really for us, it's an opportunity to not only give back to the community and to the organization of Make-A-Wish, but also to build a community within ourselves, to network with one another. Uh, because some of the young leaders, we are are going to be the future, uh, right? So we want to build this community together and in doing so, uh, enlist some of our peers, our colleagues, and really give back to a great organization. Yeah, that's wonderful. Make-A-Wish really is a great organization. You know, I've gone to a lot of your events. I've actually been to this event and it is a lot of fun, folks. Um, but Natalie, you're one of the vendors that will be mm -hmm. there and you've brought some of your uh, your products here. Tell us what you have. Yeah, so we are Kai, Kai Coffee Hawaii and uh, we'll be serving at the event our Kai Latte, which which is um, our lovely espresso with milk and uh, macadamia nut syrup um, topped with our fresh whipped cream. Ooh, Look at that. That's for me. Sometimes delicious. during the show, I wish we had smell-o-vision because you can smell, <laughs> it smells so good I in here. I think Willy Wonka was working on smell-o-vision. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I hope he's still working on it. And oh, at, so, sorry, at the Waffles for Wishes event, we'll be offering a boozy version. So um, An adult version. An adult okay. version. Okay, yeah. I like that. With the whiskey, I see some the whiskey Irish on the table. Yes. Yeah. The Irish Terrific. Um, tell us, where will the monies raised at this event go? Yeah, so, you know, the most exciting part of the event is we're going to um, ultimately grant a wish live for one of our local cakey who is very excited to be counting down his wish. Um, he is a Spider-Man obsessed little boy, and so we have some really fun surprises with our superheroes coming out to help make his wish possible and um, this summer we have 38 wish children that we're going to grant wishes for in the next three months so this fundraiser actually means so much for us to be able to grant wishes um, for our local children that are, are actively counting down granting wishes i mean it takes a village right Absolutely. not only is does it cost a lot of money but it takes a lot of community partners uh, partners that participate in events like this uh, tell us how much does it cost to grant a wish so the average wish for a local child is about ten thousand dollars and um, primarily a lot of our children are asking for travel related wishes and um, that makes a lot of sense considering our geographic location so mm -hmm. uh, wishes to be reunited with family members to see places for the first time um, obviously to just experience hope strength and joy with their family and, and to just put a pause in what has been a really difficult journey in their medical diagnosis so that they can really experience uh, just the strength of the community behind them absolutely it's a time where they can just have fun right and absolutely. not have to worry about the going to the doctors, being in the hospital. Uh, it's very special what you guys do. Well, thank you. Yeah. It wouldn't be without the community and for our partnerships like Kai Coffee, who um, not only just make this a very tasty experience, but also have been a tremendous vendor and support of ours. So we're very grateful and looking forward to very waffles fun. galore. There's going to be some great food vendors and um, really tasty. Let's talk about treats. that. We have just a little bit of time. What are some of the other food vendors that will be there? Well, we have, uh, of course, the waffles that will be highlighted. Cold Cafe is going to be bringing their mochi waffles. We have the Tour Cafe that's doing a sweet and sour. Ravish from uh, the Modern Hotel is going to be doing a black sesame. We got drinks. We have adult beverages like Kai Coffee's one here. We also have Jam an adult version of Jamba, Jamba Juice. Yep. Uh, just to name a few, we have a, a lot of vendors uh, who are hey coming in. It's a, yeah. We've got some amazing yeah. food. This is Cold just a Cafe. really fun event, too. I mean, you're there. It's for a great cause, but it's 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 wonderful being there, but it's fun. You yeah, know? it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, again, the event is this Saturday. It's from 10 to 1, mm -hmm. and it's at the IBM Courtyard, Courtyard yes. building. Yes. Ward Village. Village. Ward Village, okay. And, um, yeah, please, tickets still available. They can go to our website. We'll have all of your information there on how to get yep. tickets. Sounds great. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Coming up on Living